Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a template that has um, attributes in it mapped to AutoCAD electrical metadata or fields. Okay, so first of all I'm going to open my template. So you should know by now that a drawing template is a .dwt file type. Okay. And to edit that DWT, I need to open the DWT. So I'm going to my template file here. And then I'm going to just, you can see that my title block or my border is currently a block. So I'm just going to type X for explode. So X is the shortcut for explode. Press enter. That's then exploded my title block so that it is geometry, lines, text and attributes. Okay, so an attribute basically is um, data that you can attach to a block. Okay, so an attribute is not a piece of text. It will appear as a piece of text, um, but it contains a tag, it contains a prompt and it contains a value and you can put in a default value as you can see here. Okay, so to place an attribute, I should go and I will just find my show tabs insert tab. So I just right click on the tabs and show tab and you can see that I can add other tabs at the top here. And then you've got define attributes there. Okay, so if I click on that button, I can give it a tag, a descript, uh, a prompt. I can define whether it's invisible or not. So you can have invisible attributes. So another um, use for attributes, maybe you've got a block of a chair. You could store within that block uh, things like manufacturer, catalog, weight, cost, all those things can be stored within the block as data, metadata of that block. So you could make, make all those attributes invisible because you don't want to see them on your drawing, you just want them as part of the block. You can then extract that information into a table. Anyway, for this we're going to go to middle center for justification. My style is set to whatever I want to set it as, maybe standard. Yeah and I can put in a default value if I want. Maybe I can just have some dashed lines in there. All right, then I'm gonna place it on the screen. Okay, so you can see that at the moment it's showing me the tag value. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop it anywhere on the screen, just pop it somewhere, somewhere here, out of the way, all right. So it's showing me the, 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 the name of the tag for this particular attribute. It doesn't show me the value. So once I've got all my attributes placed using the define attribute button, I then go to my schematic tab. Uh, no, sorry, my project tab. And then I go to title block setup. Okay. So I can click on title block setup. Now I use method two, it's my preferred method. What this does is places a block and you can see if I cancel that, the block down here or the attribute down here. And you can see there's a long string of text in that attribute for the default value. So I'm gonna cancel that. So what I'm gonna do is use that same method again, title block setup, method to WD TB attribute and go OK. Actually loads the one that already exists in the drawing in the template. So there you can see all my already previously mapped um, attributes. So the first page you've got the attributes that are related to the project as a whole. So you've got for example part number, scale, project title, drawing number, revision. These all relate to the project as a whole. My second page, if I click drawing values, these are values that relate to just that drawing on its own. Okay, so you've got things like sheet number, 
drawing description and file name. Those are all unique properties for the drawing. So it's all I have to do is decide whether it's a drawing or a project value that I'm added, that I'm uh, mapping, and then I can click pick here, and then I can pick the attributes I want to map. So what I've done here is map the project value demo example to the attribute demo. So what that means is when I populate that project value, it will populate this attribute in return. Okay, so we'll click OK on that. Then I have to block my title border again. So I'm going to type block. It's the easiest way to do it for me. Press enter. Specify my template I want to edit. All the other um, settings are OK for this instance. Click OK. It says there's an existing one. And I'm going to. Um, yeah, OK. It doesn't see there's been a change but that's because it's a attribute. So I'm going to create a fresh one. Let's try that again. Hmm. Not sure why it doesn't see there's been a change there. OK, so I'm going to create a fresh one. Reselect my objects. When you create a new name, it requires you to select the objects again. Click OK. So I think that the change is not being recognised because it's an attribute. And sometimes attributes need what we call an at sync to be picked up and you can't carry that out until after you've created the block so it's not seeing the change there so a bit annoying so I've had to create a second a second block that's fine it's gonna work it's all good all right so now all I need to do is save a template and then create a new drawing all right so if I go to this project here all right you can currently see that all my attributes have been populated by the drawing descriptions Yep, yeah, so project name you've got in there, project number, things like that. Okay, project description, all mapped in there. So all I need to do now is create a new drawing. New drawing, there it is. TWG005. I can put some of these details in if I want. Um, this is going to be a general assembly page. And click OK. And click yes to apply in the project defaults to this page. And you can see there that that attribute has been populated. And if I right click, Go on my descriptions and then click across to the next page. You can see demo example contains the word demo. I can just test that there as well. So now we'll do a title block update. Update those values, make sure that's a zero one. Take that out there, click OK, project, project wide, do all OK. What we'll see now as it goes through, it updates those values there. So thank you for watching and please feel free to contact Man and Machine if you have any questions. Cheers, bye.